Hello, and welcome to Talk Tech. I'm Kristen White, and here with me on the show, I have Jonathan Lindo, the co-founder and CEO of Replay Solutions. So tell me about your product. Well, thanks, Kristen. Um, so Replay Solutions has developed a technology that's very much like application virtualization. And what we've done with that is built a product that allows you to record and replay just about any piece of software. So describe a typical use case of your product. Right, so you know, Replay has really been designed to help with the uh, increasing complexity in software. Sure. Um, with the advent of uh, multi-tier web applications and really complex enterprise applications, it's become very, very difficult to track down and resolve issues that occur, whether they're in development, in QA, or in production. Right. So what we're able to do is very quickly um, reproduce any issue that occurs in, uh, you know, the entire, across the entire application lifecycle. How does the program work exactly? So what we're able to do is hook in seamlessly and transparently into any software application and record all of the inputs and the non-deterministic events that come into that application such that we have a very small set of data that we can use to reproduce the exact execution of that application down to the line of source code. Okay, so how does it work without um, kind of slowing down the system at mm -hmm. all or just accumulating a ridiculous amount of data that's just unmanageable to process later? Yeah, it's a good question. So that's part of the secret sauce of our technology. <laughs> okay. We've taken a very different approach to record replay than others have in the past in that we really only focus on those random sources of input or what we call non-deterministic sources of input such that um, you know at the end of the day you're really only recording a very small tiny bit of data in order to reproduce exactly what that application did. So when you're using replay and an issue occurs kind of what what happens what's the sequence of events there? Right so when replay is recording for example in your data center you'll have a very lightweight recording stored of an issue that can be brought up by a developer very quickly in seconds and what they can do is press play and see the root cause of any issue that occurred on their desktop in the development or support environment down to the line of code that caused the issue and that can happen without them having to bring up the database without having to repopulate the data set on the database without having to generate the load that existed on the system we actually virtualize all of that and allow you to pinpoint very quickly the root cause of the issue. Is your program typically used to kind of debug and test software as it's being developed or is it running in real time? Mm -hmm. Do you deploy it with actual applications and it's kind of running in the background the whole time? Right, so a lot of our customers describe it as like TiVo for software. Okay. And the reason for that is because it's just on all the time. It's sure. in the background, you don't even know it's there, but when you need it, you've got it. And okay, so it's something sense. that can be used all the way from the beginning during the development stages, all the way through QA staging and into the data center in production. Okay, I see. So now, is it only used on compiled languages or can you use it on interpreted languages too? Yeah, today our platform support is C++ and Java. Okay. Um, we're so definitely, compiled. right, we're definitely, uh, well, I mean, Java can be interpreted, but, um, you know, we're definitely looking at uh, the next set of platforms to be .NET and some of the interpreted languages as okay. well. How does your technology handle multi-threaded applications? Mm -hmm. So I can see if, if something is all kind of in series, it's, it's pretty straightforward to record all the steps, mm -hmm. but often you have a lot of kind of different things going on in parallel. How does your, your software manage all of that? Yeah, that's right. So multi-threaded applications are arguably some of the most complex type of applications and the most difficult to debug and resolve issues. Right. Um, in fact, GigaOM just named us one of the top five hot multi-core startups uh, uh, in the world, I believe. And nice. um, yeah, we were, we were pleased with that because they recognize that Replay really is solving this issue in a very unique way. Um, and what we're able to do is, you know, treat multi-threaded applications and the context which is between the threads as one of the sources of input or non-determinism that we record, just like anything else. So what does your pricing look like? Pricing on the product is per seat. Um, our base prices typically start around 25k for a decent sized team. Um, and we're also looking at a free offering that will be available in the new year as well. Okay, very mm -hmm. good. So what's your monetization strategy then? 
you know, with the free offering, or mm -hmm. you're encouraging people to kind of yeah. upgrade? What we really want to do is get this out to as many people as possible, and um, so we're looking to offer it um, uh, as something that people can download very easily, get some great value with, resolve some tough issues, or just their everyday issues, much more quickly and efficiently, and then look to offer them um, some real uh, collaboration capabilities and features, and that's what we would look to uh, offer as more of the enterprise offering. So tell me a little about the history of the company and what sparked the idea for the product. Yeah, so my co-founder, Jeff Doddell, who's our CTO, and myself, uh, we've been working together for almost a decade, in fact, over a decade now. And we were at a company uh, previously called Muse Corporation, and we were developing a very um, advanced, very ambitious piece of software, multi-tier, uh, using a lot of the latest technologies. And as we were trying to get this product shipped, version 1.0, uh, we really realized the pains of um, software development and we were really experiencing a tremendous amount of difficulty getting this product shipped. We had um, a, a large group of QA testers and an army of beta testers out in the field that were finding and reporting issues so quickly that we were basically drowning in a sea of problems and really having a lot of trouble shipping our product. Sure. And what we realized at that point, this was you know, 98, 99, what we realized is uh, we were spending the majority of our time simply trying to reproduce these issues mm -hmm. as opposed to actually fixing them. And TiVo was just getting big at that point, uh, and we were big fans, still are, and we realized wouldn't it be great if we could simply capture a recording of what happened on the end user system, right. replay it, and then see the root cause of the issue. So that's really the the genesis of the idea occurred back when Jeff and I were both, you know, uh, technical, uh, you sure. know, and, and developing products and really experiencing these pains. And so uh, a few years later, in early 2004, we got together and formed uh, Replay Solutions. Okay, excellent. So you were really addressing an unmet need in the market, and you kind of yeah. felt the pain in the market personally. We absolutely felt the pain in the market personally at several companies previously, and um, really felt like now was the time to, uh, to take this technology to market. So how many kind of deployments of your program have you had? Several dozen, you know, we're working with some of the big, big uh, larger companies. Uh, we have several worldwide licensing deals in place uh, with some large companies. Uh, we're in different sectors as well, including financial services, um, software as a service, many uh, internet or independent, uh, independent software uh, vendors, I should say, ISVs, I'm always thinking of the acronym. Um, uh, and so, and also in the gaming space, which is actually where some of our very early customers were. So right. uh, we've had, you know, good broad penetration across multiple verticals. That's great. So how many employees do you have currently? Today we have just uh, hovering around 30 employees, and we're actively hiring. So um, we would definitely encourage folks to uh, get in touch with us.